Hello, my name is Lisa Ellis from The Armor's Wife, and this is an add-on to my chainmail coaster tutorial. If you've purchased my coaster tutorial, you'll be able to make these pendants. Focus, here we go. And then my tutorial is available at https lisaellis.sales.com. If you know how to weave Moorish rows in the round, by that I mean starting in the center and then working your way around in, in concentric hexagons, then you will not need that tutorial. But if you don't know how to do that, I have that tutorial for sale. So like I was showing you, these make really pretty pendants. And playing around last night, I found they also make pretty awesome keychains. So it's fun to play with the colors in these and it, it's a really fun project and I think you'll enjoy it. It's nice that it uh, is stable without the use of uh, connecting it to a ring or in a precious metal fusing it or anything. They stay nice and rigid. Now the rings I'm using are for metal designs. This has not been tested in any from any other supplier with rings from any other supplier. So if you want to make sure that it works, get your rings for metal designs. And actually, Shelly will be offering uh, kits this week, probably today. So that's fun. Let me show you now how we make this pendant. Okay, so like in the coaster, we make our center, where's my pointer? We make the, the center Mobius, and then we make the, we go around and make the first round. Now only build this first round to four rings, not six. Usually we fill out the Mobius to six rings, but this time we'll be doing four. Now if you do six rings, you'll just have a lot of floppies, so just take those out, no big deal. Okay, now in the video I showed you how to add support rings, but I want to show you a little, um, it's exactly the same idea. I'm just going to kind of take a little approach. I'm going to describe it differently. Because remember, we're working on tension here, and it's going to be a little tight. So in the tutorial where I showed you to take one ring, and then go around the eye. Oh, my fingers are way off. It's kind of hard. See, I'm kind of struggling to get it around that eye because of the tension in the piece. So let me give you a better way to think about it. So we're gonna pick up this floppy ring. We're gonna pick up the ring behind it. We're gonna slide and then come behind the eye, okay? So I'm gonna finish feeding that ring through there and then close it. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna keep working my way around. Sometimes it can be, you can get lost in this jumble of rings. Um, about where exactly you're going to put that support ring. Well, let's look at the one I just put in. Here's your center, here's your Mobius. You're grabbing the two rings at the top of that Mobius and then going left to go around the eye. So let's do it again. Okay, so I'm going counterclockwise for no real reason. So I'm gonna grab this ring that's flopping down that actually we'd grabbed before with the prior, prior stabilizing ring. I'm tipping it back and grabbing the ring behind it. I'm sliding to the left and bringing the ring up, bringing the ring up right on the other side of that eye. Okay, closing it. closing it better. <laughs> and you can feel as, as you do this that it's going to uh, get even more rigid, which is perfect. So let me do one more. There will be six, of course, because we have six 
Mo outer Mobius is in row one. Okay, so we go to the next Mobius, grab the ring that's falling in front, grab the ring in the back, okay, and then slide it to the left and come up under and around the eye. Wiggle that ring so you can close it. Okay, so now we've got three of them in there. So you can see we just use that same process to get all six in. Now when you have all six in, it's going to look like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's a definite back. This is the back of the piece. So be consistent putting your support rings in because you don't want to mis mix up the back and the front. I mean, this looks fine. If you turn it over, you'll see it looks even better. See these support rings are coming and taking, this is like the, the fanning out of the rings. The support rings join that fanning out. Sometimes, let me uh, bring it to your attention. Sometimes the support ring will not be exactly where it goes. See how I just made it go cattywampus here? If that happens, and that happens a lot actually, just flip it back over and grab it. Well, actually it's easier if you keep it from the front. There it is. Grab it from the back and just pop it back into place. And there's enough rigidity that once you do that, it'll stay. See, I'm just popping these to where they belong. Sorry, I'm all over the place. This new tablet has its camera in a weird place. So there it is. That's all there is to it. Let me say one more thing. That when you are um, adding a ring to attach it to a cord or a keychain, if you go to one of the ones leaning forward and grab it around in the back, that is the best place to um, add your attaching ring because it just makes the... Uh, it just makes the piece hang better. Whoop, here we go. It just makes it hang better if that's the way where you put your attaching ring. So there you go. Uh, like I said, if you know Moorish Rose Sheet, building it around, you uh, won't need my prior tutorial. Uh, otherwise, you'll probably want to pick up my Moorish Rose Coaster tutorial that's at that web address. And remember, Metal Designs is selling kits, and I think you're going to enjoy this. Have a great day and happy mailings.